Now, we will create a layout using Bootstrap Grid this time. In fact, the process is more or less the same. Before we create the views, let's install one module called Image URL Formatter to use in this tutorial. Let's go to the module page. This is a nice module. You can output image URL of the image view directly in views. Now let's scroll down and install the module. Let's copy the link back to our site. Go to module, install new module. Paste the link here and install. Let's enable the module. Let's search for URL and turn this on, image URL for matter. Now let's go to views, structure, views, article. Now we click on page thumbnails. We are going to clone from these views since the layout is more or less the same. Now click on this, clone page thumbnails. I'm going to rename this to create. Layout, for format, we change it to bootstrap grid. Now number of columns, we choose 3, apply. Show, we can choose views. We remove the default view wrapper elements to clean it up. Let's click on image, style setting. Now we remove this default classes and add a wrapper. For this image, we can create a CSS class. I will use D to put image. Right? Apply for title. The same thing. Uncheck this. Div. For title, maybe we use H3. Right, so I apply that body, same thing, and check this and wrap it with a div. Give it to call description, maybe apply. Now, if you go down and preview, let's take a look at the structure this time. So, we have an image wrapped by a div, and we have three, we have also description. That's great. It's much cleaner and tidy now. Let's go back and continue. Path, change it to grid, right? Apply. For thumbnail, change again, apply. So let's see what else we should update. I think it looks okay. So we'll save it. Save the views. Let's go to the front page and check it out. Grid. Alright, I think we have to hand that the image itself is not responsive at the moment. But it does look okay. Now let's take a look at the structure, inspect element. So we have an image, but we have no responsive class here. IMG dash responsive. So we have to add a responsive class to the image. Other than that, it looks fine. So let's go back to the view. Edit view. Now this time I'll add one more view. It's called an ID, not ID. Apply. I'm going to hide this one. So I'll type it as hidden. Exclude from display. I'll rearrange. Drag this to the top, apply. Now for image this time, formatter, if you remember we have installed a module called image URL formatter. So you should have one more option here, image URL. I will choose absolute far path which is recommended. So I'm going to form my own image element. So I'm going to rewrite result. Rewrite the output of this view. Start with anchor tag. It's going to be slash node slash my and ID, right? I'm not sure yet what an ID is that. So 
close it and I will use image element source equal to whatever it is and I will give it a class a responsive class I will call it img dash responsive there are many ways of doing you know so this is one of the ways that I can construct my own HTML structure as I like all right I'm showing this to you so that you know how to rewrite result for certain fields in the future now let's replace this image URL with a token let's find this in the placement patterns I'll use back the same of this field I put it here it's going to output the image path now for this one we are going to use the node token which is an ID now it says remember this not that due to rendering order you cannot use fields that come after this field if you need a field not listed here rearrange your fields this means if I want to use this field to include in this image field this field has to be above the field that you are going to render it all right so I will put it back here I think that should be fine apply it and check it out it doesn't work let's go back to our field and check image I see so for link image URL too we shouldn't make a link at all put it nothing apply check again that's great now this thing comes out I check the structure again spec element so we have a class image responsive it should work this time let's close it let's save the views oh great close it and check it out nice now let's go back to the views and do a little changes instead of using fields we can actually using thumbnail it's more or less the same I can use image again title for body body apply oh, check the HTML so you have a caption these all are the thumbnail they are so you can actually combine them together right so let's save the view yeah, that's great let's resize the browser test responsive all right let's look fine inspect element now I would like to change this grid column from last screen call LG to medium screen which is called MD now we know this module only provide one grid which is for the last screen LG but we can overwrite a theme to change it let's do it so we close this let's go back to the views edit view scroll down on the advanced this tab is one called theme information let's click on this now there are many templates here you can override if you haven't learned this yet what we need to override is this style output let's click on it and check it out scroll down now here the class is actually hard coded it's two places one for horizontal another for vertical we can actually override this so let's close it first click one more time now for the style output currently is using this template in bold there are many templates you can overwrite here it says on top here it order roughly from the least specific to the most specific so it's from the least specific to the most specific let's copy the name of this template the last one in the list the most specific one so that it will only apply to these specific views without affecting others ctrl c or command c 
go to our text editor, go to sites, all, themes, bootstrap sub theme, templates. Now here, I will add a new file, PHP, blank file. Now I'll paste the name, what I copied just now, I'll finish, and go back to our Drupal site. I'll click on style output this time. I will copy the whole thing. Copy again, back to this side and paste it here. There are two places we need to change. The first one is here for the horizontal. Okay, so I'll change it to MD this time, medium. Here also MD and save the file. Now after saving this file, back to our views, I click OK. Now I'll click one more time. We need to scan the template so that it will use the last one. Now scroll down here. This is a very important step. Down below there's one rescan template files. Now after generating that files, you have to scan. Now this time from this in bold, it's already detected and it's using this one. It's ours. All right. So I click OK. I'll go up and save the view. Now this time we we'll check the HTML structure. Great. We use MD instead. Let's resize the browser and see. Yep. So in the medium screen, it's still displaying three columns. Now you may be thinking. Since we can override the theme, why not we just add more breakpoints ourselves? Well, we can. Let's do it. Back to our template. Now this time, I will add one more breakpoint here. We call it core dash small sm six space. The same thing here. Dash sm dash six. So that I will expect there's only two columns on the small screen. I will save the file. Back here, refresh our page. Now let's try to check again. Inspect element. It looks good. Now let's resize the browser. Scroll down. There's a space here. Let's inspect the element and see. Now you will notice the columns or the items are grouped by three. One, two, three, grouped by a rows div. It still remains the same unchanged, which we actually ideally it should be grouped by two columns this time, right? Well, that's what we expected as this is a module has not yet designed or to support multiple breakpoints at the time of recording. But I do believe this feature will be added soon. There's some discussion about this need in some issues you can follow up with, like this one. Limited views, grid settings, no breakpoint control. Or the merge the view bootstrap responsive grid. Add support for different grid column sizes. They are all issues under views bootstrap module. You can check it out from time to time. And there are some patches provided as well. So if you need the features, do follow up with the post or you can write something about your own issues. Now back to our Drupal site. Now if you don't feel like to overwrite a theme, you want to restore back to the original settings, you can simply delete the template file. We will close this file, click on this and click delete. Now there's no more this file, back to our Drupal site and flash the catch. Check again. It's back to the original. In the next tutorial, I will show you on how to resolve some of the limitations of the column module by creating our own views without using the views bootstrap module. So let's proceed to the next.